Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. We just unlocked door number 3, or well, we just put in the password at the main room here at the laboratory, and we're just about to walk through it after we take care of some toxic flies here. Um, I should mention that on the way to getting to this room, uh, Ryu leveled up, and the only notable thing that he really got was uh, a pretty big AP increase, because because he's a uh, master to Emitai, you know, Emitai gives a plus 4 AP increase per level up, so I think uh, Ryu got 6. That's really good. Like I said, uh, the reason why I want to have Ryu on Emitai is so that he has enough AP to last longer in those Ryu, uh, in those dragon formations. Alright, so if you remember in this room, we were up on that viaduct here at that, that top there, uh, and we read that pamphlet and it said, Unit 3 needs to be plus 10. So we have this main valve, it's off, Crescent, okay. Hopefully I can get this right. I, this, for some reason, I'm really not remembering what this all is about. Like, not remembering how to solve this puzzle. Let's do a little bit more exploring. I'll go in there in just a second. Oh, there's a book. Okay, cool. When in doubt, read a book. Alright, what does it say here? Prism Chamber Pressure Counter. Okay. It's all too complicated to understand. Okay. What the hell? That was so useless. So, this is obviously the, uh... Come on. Come on, Momo. What is this? Good God. Oh, you can't even search it. I'm getting frustrated here. Alright, so if this is the pressure chamber, then below, the door below, has got to be where you manipulate it. So, let's figure this out. And for some reason, I'm having a real tough time trying to figure out what I need to do. God. So I guess it's not in that room. Um, bear with me here, guys. Sorry about this. this is a little ridiculous, I know. God, what do I gotta do here? Okay, I'm gonna go back to that book because it said that, that was the main pressure chamber. So maybe I have to do something there. I mean, it, for some reason I'm having a hard time with this thing. <clears throat> okay, yes, I know it's off. All right, yeah, I know it's too complicated. Okay, all right, guys, I'm gonna have to pause this to figure out what the hell is going on, and I'll get back to recording when I figure out what exactly the hell I need to do. So, sorry about this. <laughs> all right, guys, I think I figured out I know what to do now. Instead of going back to this main room where, you know, there's doors one, two, and three, instead of going into the door three, I think I wanna go into door two here instead. And the reason why I wanted to go to door number two is because I totally forgot about this. That behind it, there was this door three that's locked electronically. So, we go and check the computer, we unlock it, and now we have this new area. What the hell? Really? Is this just... Is this just nothing? Nothing is even in here? Oh my god. Well, I was hoping that that was gonna... I was really hoping that that was going to give me some sort of clue or some sort of exploration uh, place, but uh, this is not looking good, guys. I have no idea what to do, and I am not going to a strategy guide or, or s some walkthrough to figure this out. And I can already tell you one thing. I'm definitely not in the right place. Uh, it's like, why was that door even there? There was nothing inside that cabinet. There was nothing in that room, except it showed us that there was a treasure. That was it. That was like that was the goal. That's why developers put that room in there. Let me let me look at this one more time. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, well, I picked up a flame spear randomly from that fly man, so that was good. I guess that kind of. What the hell is in this place? What? Why would they create this just to show me that treasure? Really? This is the most frustrating dungeon so far. I I can't believe that I'm being like challenged this much by. All right. Okay guys, back to the drawing board. After this battle, once again, I'm gonna do a little bit of 
searching and exploring because I have no idea what the hell I am doing. So, I will hopefully, next time I record, I'll figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Another flame spear, what the hell? Okay, guys, I think I might have figured it out, finally. So, one room that I didn't check was in the same room that I actually was just at is I didn't go over here and flip this switch and now I don't know if that does anything I'm it, it does it does you know how I know it does because I just saw that that little thing right there it turned it on it turned this main room on see that thing was not flashing before so now I can go back to that room hopefully it, uh, adjust the pressure or whatever the hell I have to do I mean the only hint that I was really given was to say unit 3 pressure plus 10 it's like Okay, so finally, I'm in this room, this thing is turned on, alright, well, let's check them now. Okay, so that's unit 1, nice, nice, this must be unit 3 then. So it's 18, so it needs to be at 28 because I need to increase the pressure. What the hell? That took me by surprise. We were in that room, I know we were in this room before. I know what's in it, so I'm just gonna equip because I know what's in it. You know what? No, never mind. Uh, and by the way, because I'm so pissed off, uh, because I'm so frustrated, uh, one, I'm gonna turn the music up a little bit, and two, um, I'm wasting this boss. He's dead. Uh, because I'm so frustrated, he's dead. He's the giant slug, he's weak to fire, he's not very tough, um, this, this dungeon's taking forever, and he, it, it's real sad that he has to, um, catch me on a time where I was extremely frustrated. So, I'm gonna use the Force Gene, Flame, and Thorn. Th this is gonna, this is just, I feel bad for the guy. I really do. I really feel bad for this guy. Um, I'm gonna cast Speed. Uh, shoot, what, what is Pekka gonna do? What do you got, man? Flame Strike? Hell yeah, Flame Strike his ass. You know, I'm real sorry, Huge Slug. You had to catch me at a time where um, I was I was completely volatile and, and belligerent, and um, it's real, it's real, I feel bad for you because you're just gonna get eaten up right now. So, I just changed into one of the most badass dragon formations that you can become. What, you got molasses? What's that gonna do? You know, my speed is like 210% normally what it is, and I can just hit him with the flame strike. Zero damage, what the hell? Oh, that's right, he has like some protection. That's right. Oh shoot, did I guys, did I give you... Alright, we're gonna do Flame Claw, just in case. And we're gonna speed Ryu back up. Because he lost a lot of speed there just now when, when they did the blast. Huge Slug isn't very tough, you just gotta watch out for his physical attacks and um, various things. 922 damage, son. And you lose your protective coating, now you're dead. So he's gonna do Siphon. You just gotta watch out and just make sure that you do healing uh, when necessary and all that. Nice little hit there by Peko. And there we go. That's what I'm talking about. EX turns. You're gonna get eaten up, dude. Wasted. 876. I think one more Flame Claw will do it. But instead of doing a Flame Claw, I'm feeling, I'm feeling real ignorant right now. Doing Aura. And everyone's defending. Watch the most badass attack in the game. Boom! 1,270 damage. Don't mess with me, you huge slug. You'll get eaten up every time. Get a couple level ups here. And Momo learned Might. That's one of the best spells in the game because it buffs up your attack power. Real, real strong. So... I like how that was just like in a... a a very narrative. No one was even saying that. It was just like a narrative. It was just like, could Momo's father be, you know, doing some really crazy stuff? Who knows? Find out next time. And my computer, my laptop is absolutely hating me right now. I've recorded like six episodes in a row. Alright, man. I, I need to change you, okay? How do I change you? Unit 3, Chrism to 18. I need it to be at fucking 28. Oh my god, it just said the F word. Holy shit. That's how you know I'm, I'm getting, I'm losing composure. So, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do right now. And I am furious in this episode, guys. Uh, let's go back to that thing again. God, this is just, I'm making, I'm being 
a super idiot right now. Oh, so now the book says something different. Remember the first time we read this, it was like, Oh, this is too complicated to understand. Okay, so now that I've done the proper plot set... See, this is stupid. Okay, gotta look at the them and look. Ah, oh, you gotta look at them and arrange it from lowest to highest. So what you have to do is you have to memorize all of these prism pressures, and then you have to go back into the main room and actually go back there. And, and there's gonna be many choices for the password, and you have to choose the right one that correlates to all of these pressure. Um, what do you call it? These, the numbers here. So, you know, this one's 42. So, <clears throat> what you can do is you can memorize this. However, there's actually a little secret. You don't have to memorize this stuff. Come on, man. Check this. Anyways, so 18. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to memorize this stuff. And I'll meet you guys back at the main room. Let's see if we can freaking unlock the password. Alright, guys. We're back in the main computer room here to unlock the password here. And... I was telling you guys that you have to memorize the chrism chambers and you have to put them in, put them in a set uh, in a set order. However, because this game is old, there is a little bit of a, a flaw in that little uh, puzzle. And I'll show you what the flaw is. Once you come over here, instead of having to memorize things, I'll show you the really easy way. It's going to give you a bunch of little uh, numbers. Always do this. I don't even know the numbers, to be honest with you. Choose other, and then I think you want to choose the third set of numbers. So, just by doing that, you will unlock the password. Like I said, I didn't even memorize any of those numbers. Um, but I just know that there is this little secret here where you can choose other and the third set of numbers. That's always going to be, for every game, the numbers are going to be different for every game. But just do that. Choose other, and then the, th the third decision. That's always going to happen, so... Pretty cool. Real nice thing to know. So now that, the, that uh, number four is open, we can finally advance and give a beating to, to Dr. Pallet, man. God, I'm, I'm sick of this shit. Alright, so I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna cut the episode here. And next time... <clears throat> Dr. Pallet is going to get it for making us go through all this crap. So next time, we're going to beat him up, and we're going to get out of this plant. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.